Hey guys, Kitty here. Um, I thought I would do another tagged video for you because it's been uh, at least a couple of weeks since I last did one. Uh, the one that I've been wanting to do for ages is the Fairy Friends tag, uh, as soon as I have four of them. So I thought I would do that one today. Um, I lost my voice over Christmas and had like a week basically where I couldn't speak. So if I'm a little bit croaky, <laughs> that's why. But I am kind of finally resembling normal again now. So off we go. Um, so the first question is, what is the name of my Fairy Friends? Um, so I have four. Um, I've got Ashen, Stitch, Patch and Simbad. Um, question number two is what type or breed are they? So Ashen is a dog, um, he's a Rottweiler cross. I'm not really sure what he's crossed with. Um, we think possibly an Airedale because he has wiry hair and he gets like quite a mane and he has a right beard on him so we like to joke that he's a Rottweil. Um, and the others are just moggies. <laughs> um, Simbad might be something a bit fancier with him being blue because he's blue but he has green eyes which is quite unusual for um, just, you know, a standard British short hair moggy type, but don't know, because they're all rescues. Um, number three, how long have you had them? Um, Simbad we got in, I want to say about August, I think. Um, and the rest, um, I met them all in 2012, but Stuart had them all before that. Um, I think he'd probably had them for sort of two or three years before that, because... Um, Stitch, Patch and Ashen were all his before I met him. Um, how did I get them? Um, so the how... Oh, so the how of them... Sorry, I got a text then. Um, <laughs> the how... Um, the Stitch and Patch belonged to um, Stu's landlady at our old house. Um, she was moving to Canada and initially had plans to emigrate the cats as well. Um, but that sort of just never happened, so they became ours. Um, Ashen came from a rescue centre called The Ark. Um, I will leave a link to them down below, because um, they're an amazing rescue centre. Um, he'd been there for quite a long time. He'd been there for about a year, um, because he's got the obvious Rottweiler look to him, um, and he's, he is a big dog. He just wasn't really getting any attention, um, so that's how they got him. And then Simbad um, belonged to my cousin. Uh, he was going travelling, um, and initially thought that he could take his cats travelling with him in the camper van they were going in and obviously the cats weren't happy with that um, so he was trying to rehire three cats actually, two kittens and Simbad um, and Simbad had just been shot in the eye so he had this really red inflamed swollen eye oh speaking of furry friends this one is Stitches, hey baby this is Stitches let's see if we can get this to be a bit better there you are, hello baby um, yeah, so Simbad had been shot in the eye. Um, the kittens, they rehomed pretty quickly. Um, but Simbad, because of his injury, nobody wanted him. So I wanted him, obviously. And he's a blue cat. I've always wanted a blue cat. And he's a absolute beaut. Um, <laughs> Stitches loves to be held like a baby. So now I can't see my questions because I've got this little monkey in my hands. One sec. Um... How old are they all? Um, not entirely sure how old most of them are actually. Um, Simbad we think is about four. Um, Stitch and Patch, no real idea. I'm pretty sure that Patch is over ten. She's quite old, bless her. Like she's lost a lot of her back teeth now that she's old. I can't remember fast that she can turn the scent properly. Um, and then Stitches is actually Patch's niece, nephew even. Nephew, you're a boy, aren't you? Um, so he's maybe a couple of years younger than that, maybe sort of eight or so. And then Ashen, we worked out that he's about um, six. Because uh, we actually sort of randomly bumped into his owners who had actually uh, given him up to rescue. So, uh, yeah. Bit of a mishmash, aren't you? Yes. Um, Stitches has now thrown my questions on the floor. You're a little pest, you are. A little pest. One second. <laughs> Go down a minute, bubby. try again um what does my relationship mean to them I love my babies so much um whenever I'm sad I just want to come home and snuggle them be with them and I love them so much I like my little furry children um like I have like a special relationship with um Ashen um when I was really poorly last year um and I was in and out of hospital he was really concerned about it all so like he's like my little 
you know, my little Bezzy, like he knew when I was having migraines and when I was poorly and he would he was so gentle and he really looked after me. Um well, they just they just make me happy every single day. I'm so lucky to have four beautiful little furry babies. Aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> um Quirky things about my cat's and dog's personality. So Stitches loves to be held like a baby, but he will not sit on people's knees. He hates sitting on knees. Uh, he won't lie on you either, but if you hold him like a baby, he will sit here forever. He loves it so much. Um, Patches likes to sit on my boobs. Um, she likes her face to like be right in my face. Um, I'll try and insert a picture at the end for you because she's pretty much always sat like right in my face, particularly in the winter. Um, I think because I wear cosy jumpers and stuff, my boobs make like a squishy place for her to sit and yeah, she likes to be right in my face, which is really sweet. She likes to boop me. Um, Simbad is like a stalker. Um, he comes everywhere with me. Um, if I go on the porch to do something, he comes on the porch. If I go in the shower, he sits on the laundry basket and stares and he just stalks me all the time. He just stares at me. It's adorable. He's he's the fussiest little thing. He's the sort of cat that, like, if you go to the loo, he wants to be fussed while you're doing that. If you're brushing your teeth, he has to be fussed while you're doing that. He's the fussiest little man. Um, <laughs> he's just starting to kind of discover his, uh, his voice with us now. And his meow is like... Because he's a big cat. Simbad weighs over a stone. He's a big lump of cat. Um, but his meow is like the campus little tiny little squeak it's so cute and it's so funny um Ashen he thinks he's really small um Ashen weighs I think he weighs like eight and a half stone at the moment um yeah, but he thinks he's a lap dog um I'm pretty sure he actually thinks he's a cat um we know from meeting his previous owners that he was raised with a lot of kittens um so when you rub his chest or like get that really good spot that dogs have um he kind of growls to himself and I think he thinks he's purring. <laughs> it's adorable. Um, people will get a bit freaked out when they don't know him, but like he's he's the daftest, softest dog in the world. Um, he's amazing. Um, my favourite pastimes with my animals. Um, snuggles. I love snuggles so much. I love when I wake up in the morning and they're all kind of shouting at me because they want their breakfasts and just makes me really happy. Um, obviously with Ash and its adventures, I love taking him in the fields and around the village and everyone who meets him just wants to fuss him and love him and with the cats it's definitely just having fusses because I mean look at those ridiculous beans. I don't know how well you can see stitches with a beam. Totally black but he's just making biscuits in the air. I just like to hang out with them, like have them sat near me or snuggling me and Stitch and no, Patch and Simbad both like to sleep on me, um, to sleep on my back so <laughs> I often wake up in the morning like incredibly stiff because I've slept on my back but I really don't care. Um, Stitches is just all about the face rubs, yes, all about the face rubs. He often forgets he's got his tongue hanging out as well actually so you'll just kind of look at him and will be the face that you get because he's just forgotten that his tongue is just hanging on out there. You're a cutie, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> um, and the last question is any nicknames. So it's less that they have nicknames, it's more that they have full names. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Stitch's full name is Lord Stitch the Third of the House of Chublington. Patch's first name is Lady Patchington of Adorables. Ashen's full name is Ashen the Goldfish Cat Dog Reindeer Llama. And Simbad is um, Captain Simbad of Bluebeard because he's a pirate cat because he only has the one eye. Um, but then other nicknames that I call them, um, Stitches has quite a squeaky meow, so he is also squeaker, aren't you? Yeah, you know your name is squeaker. Um, Patches is just Lady or Patches and Tiny Lady because she's really little compared to the other two, um, so she's Tiny Lady. Um, Ashen, I call him Goober and Fat Dog and dog face and pretty much anything and he'll answer to it basically <laughs> you say it in the right tone of voice for Ash and he'll just answer to you and then with Simbad um, I call him One Eye or Blue Boy or Blue Cat or Big Man and because he's the big one so uh, I call him the Blue Man group <laughs> uh, <laughs> they all have lots of nicknames but I like that they have full they have full proper nicknames don't you baby 
Um, but yeah, that is the Furry Friends tag. Um, I will put like a blank version of it into the uh, description box down below. So if you want to have a go, um, you can do that as well. I will at the end of this video, I'll insert a picture of each of my little fur babies so you can actually see them properly. Because while they've all been in videos, um, <laughs> the, the, it's not quite the same as seeing proper pictures of them. Because this is just all you can see at the minute is like little paws waving around in the air. Because you're ridiculous. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, do give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me about your fur babies. If you can, leave me photos of your fur babies. Because I love cats and dogs so much. I love them more than people. I love them. Um, but yeah, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe already. Um, I release new videos twice a week. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping 2016 is going to be a good year for my YouTube channel. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.